What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julissa, if you're new here. And today, I am heading out to the 757 Battle of the Beer Festival. This is the 10th annual festival that is taking place here in Virginia Beach. And I'm super excited just to enjoy the festivities. This festival is centered around raising money for a local charity in the area. And of course, it allows locals like myself to enjoy the breweries that are in this area. So the general admissions for this festival was $60. And with that $60, you get two tastings from each brewery, as well as a $5 food voucher that went towards any food truck so we're all checked in, but we honestly don't know how we're supposed to drink. They gave us these big glasses, but all the festivals I've come to that are beer festivals, they give you small ones. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see. At the end of the day, we're here to drink beer. So as long as we get beer, we'll be good. So as I stated earlier, there are quite a few breweries that were participating in this festival throughout the seven cities areas. There were six rows of tasting areas that you can enjoy the beers that the breweries had to offer. They also had, you know, vendors that were offering cigars, they had psychic readings, they had cornhole. Overall, this festival had a lot of things to offer. I have to try my first beer. It is a PB&J Goza from Edge Top. I've had them before, I've visited them, them before. They have really good beers. They have a good sour on tap, at least since the last time I went there, so. Cheers. have a hint of peanut butter but not overpowering so beer number two is from big ugly brewing company a big ugly brewery one of the two and it is a sour mojito flavored beer and it is good marco said that it may have been the best beer he has ever had We're supposed to show these little booklets to each of the breweries so they would know because we only get two samples per brewery but I think this is like a free-for-all so I think if we just show up and give our cups to these breweries they're gonna give us beer um, because no one's keeping track of the general admission it's supposed to be only getting two samples so needless to say if you just want to come and drink beer this is a great festival to come to so we're gonna go to our third brewery now and this one, Commonwealth Brewing, they won last year's festival. So let's see if they got something good to keep their title. garage breweries the boss lady strawberry lemonade sour it's supposed to mimic a pink lemonade and it really does it really does mimic a pink lemonade style beer so that's good and then i think the tie is the which one was it bench top pb and j goose goze y'all know i can't pronounce anything that joint was good it was like a hint of peanuts 
most time those peanut butter and jelly beers it's like overpowering with the peanut but that one was nice so those two are my top two beers right now but of course i've got to keep going because they've got a imperial stout i believe from new realm that is oaxaca based so i'm excited to taste that fan of food trucks i think they are extremely overpriced and the amount of money you spend getting food from a food truck i feel like i'd much rather use that money to actually sit down at a restaurant and enjoy my food however this festival did have a variety of options when it came to food trucks eating I ended up getting something from the Lupia King and highly do not recommend at least not the food truck because the, the food was bland it was blander than I don't know what the Lumpia was good though I will give it to the Lumpia the Lumpia was good but the actual pancit the pork skewers they were bland but I just found out that my time got cut shorter so I have to continue trying to meet my mission and try to try as many beers as possible. So let's keep going. So I've officially finished one task. I went and talked to the Seven Cities Home Brewers Club and they have a meeting in two weeks. So I'm definitely gonna go and it was a good time. I was actually really appreciative at the fact that they had women that were serving the beer and representing the club, so that was a plus. But they also were actually serving beer. I thought they were just passing out pamphlets and stuff like that, but they were serving beers. This festival again was centered around charities and one of the cool things that this festival also had to offer was a silent auction where you could place your bets and biddings to get some of the cool memorabilia that the breweries were auctioning off. So obviously it is the next day following the festival. Last night and yesterday I had a ball and was so drained and tired that I was not able to give you all a fair 
close out of the video and let you all know what my personal favorites were so that's why i pushed this video to the next day but overall the festival was great a lot of good energy good music and of course good beer so as i said it earlier there were 40 participating breweries in this entire festival and i personally was able to taste and try 14 beers from 14 different breweries so i didn't quite get to all of them but i try my best to get as many as possible and still be able to exit the festival on my own. My two favorite of the entire festival or of the ones that I tried, my first one was the New Realm Oaxaca Choco Imperial Mexican Chocolate Stout. It's a tongue tie y'all. That one for me was the best, which was weird because I typically am not a stout person. I'm not a stout or porter person whatsoever, but I felt like that beer had probably the best and most character out of all the beers that I've had. It was distinctly different than um, any of the beers I had tried that day. And you could taste the chocolate notes, but there was some heat, some chili pepper heat um, that I appreciated. There were times when I was drinking it, but I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this, but I kept drinking it because it was good. And in the description, it stated that it's, you know, kind of drinking like a, cho a Mexican hot chocolate. And I think that was a fair description because I felt like I was drinking, you know, some form of a hot chocolate with a little bit of chili pepper. So that overall was my number one favorite beer out of the entire 14 that I tried. So the second beer I enjoyed was the PB&J Goze from Benchtop Craft Brewing here in Norfolk. That beer was really, really good. It's strange, the two beers that I enjoyed the most were typically beers that I would never drink. Um, I'm not a fan of peanut butter beers just because I feel like oftentimes breweries can allow the peanut butter to overpower everything else in the beer, but I felt like this Goze did a good job of only um, allowing or only bringing out the peanut butter nodes at a very minimal level. Um, and for me, when I drank the beer, I was able to taste the fruit nodes, like the raspberry and the strawberries, and then that peanut butter came in afterward, afterwards with just the little hint. It was not overpowering, and I enjoyed that. So number one was um, New Realm for me, and number two was Bench Crap. Bench Top Craft Brewing. So if you are visiting the 757 area or you are going to be moving here, make sure you go visit those two breweries. New Realm is in Virginia Beach and of course Bench Top is in Norfolk. Now, in regards to the rating and scoring on the official festival side, I had to do some research, but what I was able to find out was there was a tie for second. So the two breweries that tied for second were the Big Ugly Brewing Company and the Garage Brewery. Those were the two that tied for second. And I ended up tasting both of those, um, two beers from both of those breweries. And they were good. They definitely had um, nice flavor and a distinct, distinctive flavor of their beer. And then the brewery that took first place was Traditions Brewing Company. I was not able to get them, but they ended up taking first. And then the brewer's choice went to Cape Charles Brewing Company. So those were the official festival selections of winners. Vastly different than mine, but again, overall, everyone had good beer and it was just a good time. So if you are visiting the 757 area in the September time frame of the year i would highly recommend purchasing some tickets and enjoying this festival um there was a lot to do as far as family was concerned and again there was a lot of food options and the beer was really good so if you are interested in seeing some of the activities and festivities we have in the off season here please let me know and I will definitely try to do my best to go to all of them. Although we are known to be a beach city and a beach area, we still have a lot of things to do in this area as we transition to fall and winter time. And as always, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you are up to date on the latest and greatest content that I create. And of course, I will see you all in the next video.